What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in this video I want to talk about does Jit Kune Do actually work? Okay, well before I get started take a second to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, it would help me out a lot of course and it helps grow the channel and the community that I want to build around all of this, you know. Uh, OG Fitness, we're all about um, uh, smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. Okay, so the OG is for older guys, it's not for original gangster. Even though original gangster uh, could stand for somebody who's just, you know, older and who's more old school in his approach and stuff like that. So let's dive right into it. Um, Jit Kune Do, I think it's the wrong question to ask if a style works or not. Okay, the better question would be. The person using Jit Kune Do, is he able to make it work or not? Now, let me start by going a little bit backwards here and talk about Jit Kune Do. Jit Kune Do is a philosophy, okay, that Bruce Lee gave to his, uh, to his, uh, his approach, okay? To his, it's a name that he gave his philosophy, sorry. So that's what it is because he could just say, uh, well, my style. Bruce Lee style. No, he had to give it a name. But the name represents his philosophy and his approach to martial arts. Okay? And since he's, he's from a Wing Chun background, that's why Jit Kune Do, if you uh, translate it um, literally, it means way of the intercepting fist. Now, a philosophy. What was his philosophy? What was it about, really? Well, it was about taking what works, okay, and, and discarding the rest. So basically, he was just taking from any martial art, any, any form of combat that he could find that made sense, okay? And then use whatever works for you, best for, for yourself, and of course, what actually works in real combat. And, and that was it. That was his philosophy. So after he died, though, okay, I mean, people lost sight of that. And people just talked about Jit Kune Do as if it was a fixed style with, you know, forms and katas. And, and this Jit Kune Do was just this, 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 and that. But it was, it was never meant, in my opinion, to be something that was static. It was meant to evolve. And it's not for nothing that, that Bruce Lee is considered the grandfather of MMA, okay? Because back in those days, it was fucking revolutionary to actually take, borrow from other styles, compile it, and then make it your own, okay? So that's what Jit Kune Do to me is. So, I mean, what happened also was that after he died, like his students just, I think, kind of got stuck or maybe just stayed in, uh, in certain martial arts and, you know, they didn't, they didn't, uh, I don't want to judge them, but I feel as though they didn't bring it to the next level where it, it would have gone if Bruce was still alive. Because if Bruce was still alive, I think Jit Kune Do would have evolved into, um, a lot, a lot more into grappling and, and, um, and MMA and boxing and, and Muay Thai and all kinds of stuff, you know? And he probably would have been really, really involved in, in, uh, in MMA, in the development of MMA, because he would have wanted to test himself or possibly his students, you know? He would have found one way to, 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 um, um, to evolve his art. Right, because he was all about the truth. Also, he wanted to see what really worked. Okay, and uh, towards the end, like if you guys aren't aware, like he trained in in judo, and he trained in grappling and in jujitsu and in all kinds of stuff. Uh, judo, he actually trained with Gene Labelle. Gene Labelle, he worked with him for like a year, you know, in in grappling and submissions and stuff like that. So I mean, he would have evolved it to, like uh, to 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 modern. I think to modern MMA today, in a sense, like he still would have called it uh, Jit Kune Do, but Jit Kune Do is more his philosophy, and um, and that's it. So, does Jit Kune Do work? Yes, the philosophy definitely works. Okay, uh, but does Jit Kune Do work in terms of um, what it is, what it's what it's uh, considered to be actually as of now? Mm, well, you know, like anything, if you don't evolve, right, and you stay static, like, you're not going to be able to compete, okay? Because the way I see it is that there's probably still a lot of holes in it at this point, right? The way it's being taught, 
I mean, if you don't have enough wrestling, you don't have enough uh, BJJ in there, you don't have enough, uh, uh, well, those two main things there, I mean, it's not going to work as, as well, right? So the JIT can do that's, that's static and that's being taught. I feel as though um, it's probably not as evolved as uh, modern MMA, but it would have been, I think, if Bruce Lee was still alive today. Or if he would have lived at least longer to to you know to see what the hell was going on, and he would have uh, he would have took what worked from from wrestling, from from um, from BJJ and and from any other grappling sport, and and make it work right, and then integrate it into Jit Kune Do because Jit Kune Do is a is a philosophy and it's something that's ever changing, ever evolving. But the way it is now, so if it's still taught with you know sticks and knives and and it looks like self-defense shit, well, of course, it's not really gonna work as well because it's like you're taking something from like uh, how long ago now, 30, 40 years ago, and you didn't you didn't bother evolving it. Well, of course, you know it's like you take a a, a car 40, 50 years in the past, and you try you you ask me, okay, is this a good car? Like on the racetrack against a fucking uh, 2018 F. Formula One, uh, um, a McLaren, blah blah blah, Ferrari. You know, of course not. It's gonna get it's it, it's 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 not gonna work. It's not gonna it's not gonna comp it's not even gonna be competitive on a, on a track, right? So I I feel as though that's what it is. It's it stayed static after Bruce died. It didn't evolve too much, and because of that, if we look at it in terms of a style, then static style, right? then no, it's not effective. But if you look at it more, and this is the way that I think you should look at it, it's a philosophy, a ever adapting philosophy, then yes, of course it works. Because if you're, and, and essentially it's MMA, right? So, so that's why we call it, we call Bruce the grandfather of MMA because it's, it's MMA. So if you, would, if you use it as a philosophy, it's a great philosophy. Take what works, fuck the rest, that's it. And you know, one thing that might be true today might not be true tomorrow or might be not as true. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, when I talk about truth, I mean things that work, you know? And, you know, so truth, work, well, you know, you, you, you be the judge of that. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm a, I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan. That's why I got into martial arts and he inspired all of us. So uh, Jit Kune Do. I love the philosophy. I think the philosophy works. It's it's very uh, it's very um, even till this day. It's a very modern and smart approach to fighting, right? The philosophy, Jit Kune Do philosophy, definitely works. It's 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 one of the best philosophies um, in terms of uh, combat and stuff like that. Okay, uh, but Jit Kune Do as a style, but it was never meant to be a style. Okay. A fixed style, then no, it has holes in it, like any other uh, a traditional martial art, you know, and all that. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.